Hi guys, and welcome back to the Fruit of Grisaia. Now you're probably wondering, why are you playing Fruit of Grisaia again? Well, I decided to return to do another route in the game. A very popular choice. I'm going to do Amani's route. So as you can see here, I've already gotten through all this again. And, um, I, okay, I'm going for her good ending. So I'm going to pick the route. I'm going to pick the choices that will allow me for the good ending. Um, the choices you make before this also matter. So uh, be careful on what you choose. Um, basically, whenever it comes up, you want to help Sachi. There's two choices there. And whenever they come up with your nickname, you want to pick Mr. Standoffish Man. And then just follow the choices as I do here. So you know what? Makina, this is where she offered basically a, a ton of money for us to become like her dad figure of sorts. And we took it. We said yes, because it was a lot of money. And then we did that route. But this time, we're not going to take the money. You know what? She can't buy me. She can't buy me. And I'm going to, you know, we're, we're not for sale. You know, she's like she's like a kid in a store. She's just going up to a shelf and picking a Yuji up off the shelf and saying, I want this one. No, no, no. We have more morale than that. You know, we got we, we have values. We're not, you know, we're not, we can't be bought. We're going to reject it. Don't want your money. I'm not gonna listen carefully. I don't want your money. Don't, don't say that. That's not what I'm saying. If you want to play house, I'll do it for your charge. I'm not the perfect human being you seem to think I am. I can't commit to becoming your father. It would be irresponsible for me to pretend that I could. But. If it's just playing at the role, I think that even someone like me can handle it. Hmm. Well, a pseudo papa, I guess. Since you never learn what a family is, we'll try to figure it out together. Would that be enough? All right. And let's leave it at that. <laughs> that said, I'd really prefer not to be called Papa this early in my life. And I think you meant fledgling. Suzuka? That's the feathers on an arrow. Take hold of Makina's outstretched hand and give it a quick shake. Most likely because of that half-eaten lollipop she's been carrying around, her palm is sticky and unpleasant to the touch. We've got plenty to learn, that's for sure. When you raise something, sometimes you're the only one that grows the most. And when you teach someone, you're going to learn a lot in return. Or so my master once told me. At the time, those words didn't really resonate with me, but now... I think I'm starting to understand. Even so, when I think about the rocky road that lies ahead, I can feel the dull throb of an insipid headache stirring under my temples. Alrighty, we are not Makina's father. We are going for Amane, so let's see what that holds. I almost said Sakiki's route. Is it Sakiki? Like Yuki's route, you know, the dark haired girl. But I decided to go with Amani. She seems to be a fan favorite of sorts. I'm accustomed to being used by others. After all, at my part-time job, it's not considered acceptable to second-guess your orders, let alone defy them. Once you're given instructions, you're expected to carry them out to the letter without question, without hesitation, and without doubt. In other words, there's no right way to disobey. And then again, simply do what you're told and you'll always be provided with the necessities of life. And there's no need to agonize over your decisions when you're not the one making them. In that sense, it's a very easy life. Don't worry about it. I'm currently carrying a metal overhead projector down the hallway. In our increasingly computerized age, this sort of bulky machine is already well down the road to complete obsolescence. But a fraction of the teaching staff, specifically those older than 50, don't seem to have gotten the memo. 
As a general rule, these older instructors prefer to use handwritten transparencies as visual aids for their lesson. Personally, I don't really like to complain about the utterly not moving with the times, but every classroom in this school has a retractable LCD projector mounted in the ceiling. So being forced to lug this heavy thing around for every lesson is definitely enough to inspire a few exasperated sighs. You're seriously exaggerating. This is nothing. Saving people is something else entirely. Something much, much more difficult. In the first place, Amani isn't my superior or anything. I have the right to turn her request down flat. Since I'm not exercising that right, I'm acting out of my own free will. There's nothing to thank me for. Anyway, I'm just trying to show off in front of a woman. Pure self-interest. As a general, I dislike women who ask me annoying questions. You don't have to follow me around, by the way. I know where the equipment in the room is. Matter of fact, let me rephrase that then. Leave this to me, Amane. You go on ahead. I'll catch up later. <laughs> Amane, once this job's done, let's get married. だから、それ死亡フラグだってば、つうか冗談だって分かってても時っとするから、あんまそういうこと言わないでよ。私結構本気にしちゃうタイプだし。あ、どうにのれ。まあいいわ。どこにでもついてくる鬱陶しい女だ
Returning the phone in my hand to my breast pocket, I glance at the cheap digital wristwatch on my left wrist, which currently reads 4.50 p.m. Looking up, I hurriedly scan my surroundings. When I look over my shoulder, I find Sakaki performing her- It is Sakaki. Performing her usual languid and intellectual girl act, one elbow resting on a windowsill, she was sighs apologetic- uh, Sorry. Ap- yeah. Apath- apathetically- Oh my word. For no apparent reason, I call out to her without hesitation. Sakaki! Nani? Sakaki turns to look at me with a displeased frown on her face, roughly translated, or translatable as I'm not deaf, and approaches me with obvious reluctance. Sorry, but could you take care of this? Huh? Something urgent just came up. You know, where the equipment room is, right? I need to take this back for me, please. Just, what do I owe you one, thank you. Bye. Not waiting for Sakaki's response, I turn my back on her and break into a run. She doesn't raise her voice to berate me, let alone chase after me. Exactly as I'd calculated beforehand. I'm pretty sure Sakaki loathes domineering men from the bottom of her heart. But that hatred is so intense precisely because she can't offer much resistance to them. It takes me one minute and 40 seconds to reach my room since I run all out. I've worked up a good sweat in that time. But thanks to the daily running regimen I've kept up since coming here, my breathing is still pretty regular. I quickly peel myself out of my sweat-soaked school uniform and toss it carelessly aside. Opening the sack sitting in the corner of my room, I take out my change of clothes. Specifically, a green work uniform with the name of a cleaning company embroidered on the shirt, a cap of the same color, and a package of disposable adult diapers. First order of business. I take a diaper out of the plastic packaging and wrap it around myself. In my line of work, generally, and especially in my specific job, it's often impossible to take a bathroom break once you've taken your position. The fact of the matter is, I once spent several hours of a lengthy job suing in my own piss. The discomfort I endured on that occasion is beyond my ability to express in words. As a direct result, I picked up the habit of wearing a disposable diaper to any job, no matter how minor. As soon as I finish with the diaper, I slip on my light green work shirt, step into the trousers, tighten my belt, and put it on my hat, completing my change into the frog uniform reviled by all who wear it. Finally, pull on a pair of deerskin gloves as a measure against possible injury to my fingertips, completing my preparations. Taking my phone out of my school uniform, I push them to my breast pocket and head for the door. As I reach the door, I take a final look back into the interior of my room. The school uniform scattered messily on the floor kind of stands out, but there's no reason to worry about it now. In this school, there aren't any superiors to chew me out about it while brandishing the punishment stick. Might as well clean it up when and if I come back. There's always a possibility that I'll never get that chance, but in that case, nobody's going to be able to nag me about anything ever again. People die. I burst out of the dorm and rush towards the school gate. My body feels light. Even as I burrow my way into a lax student life, casually gathering small fragments of happiness with every passing day, even when I started to find my cheeks loosening into a spontaneous smile, even at the best of times, that underlying feeling of frustration never disappeared. That vague, heavy anxiety was always with me. And yet, with a single curt phone call, that weight has been lifted from my shoulders and my body moves freely, effortlessly. When you get down to it, this is how I was made. This is how I'm supposed to operate. This is what I am. As I try to convince myself of that, my body grows lighter still, but in exchange I can feel the gaping empty hole in my chest growing wider. Huh? An unexpected voice brings me to a reflexive halt. When I turn, sure enough, Amani's standing a few meters away. An unexpected- What? Oh, okay. Yeah, I got called into work all of a sudden. Well, I might not be able to make it back. Okay. Oh, that's sweet of you. I don't know if I'm going to be back at a reasonable hour. でも、できるだけ早くね。ん? 
なにもしかして酢豚は嫌いパイナップルなら入れないよ That's not it. Thank you, Amane. Huh? Oh, oh. What? I'm not sure you're a good one. Okay, I'm heading out. Hi, I'm going to go. 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 Look, woman, don't just casually butt your way into a conversation between young people. Why are you here? I don't remember anything about that ride being you. So, yeah, so you. Eat the nice, n e a h Okay, can you stop talking in that sugary tone of voice? You sound like a transvestite magician. <laughs> What? It's raising my blood pressure. Oh, no. Yuji? Right. As I might have mentioned before, this blonde clown is JB. Feel free to ignore her stupid jokes. Stop talking, let's go. Are you serious? ハルデラユリアです。いつもうちのユージがお世話になっているみたいで、スオアマネさん。えっとこんにちは。あれでもどうして私の名前を？それはもちろん。いつもお話はユージから聞いてるし、ね。はい。おっとも、ユーゲン
What does the team matter? I'll be with them for what? Part of the van ride? And their gender is even less relevant. Can't. I'm still a shallow sleeper, and my dreams are always about the past. Sounds like a plan. I open the glove compartment and retrieve a bottle of eye drops and a sleep mask. According to the watch on my wrist, it's now 526 p.m. About time I got started on stretching my ocular muscles in preparation for my job. Pressing the back of my head firmly against my headrest, I apply a single drop of fluid to both my eyes and gently close them. I still shut up with my eyeballs in a regular figure eight pattern, so I'm squeezing my eyelids firmly down against them. Opening my eyes, I swing my focus up and down to the absolute limit as if attempting to look at my own forehead and chin. Next, I move my eyes left and right, trying to catch a glimpse of my own ears. I repeat the same exercises a total of five times, with the one minute breaks in between each repetition. When I'm finished, I gently close my eyes, slip on the sleep mask, and consciously slow my breathing. And inside the car enveloped in JB's sweet fragrance, I quietly fall into sleep. ミチルなのですから、ミッチーなどいかがでしょう。もう、それならいそ。ミッチーとかどうなのよさ。なんかこう、口んとこがバッテンな感じで、キュートなのよ。あのね、さっきから黙って聞いてれば、何好きかってな
もううるさいな何大声出してんのよ近所迷惑でしょえっとねチルチルの新しいあだ名を考えてたのよさえっとなんだっけイカ醤油よイカ醤油っていうか私はイカ醤油じゃないわよお前どっちなのよ鮮魚超人マグロマンに出てくる怪人みたいで素敵じゃないですかイカ醤油他人事だと思って気軽に肯定してくれてんじゃないわよいいこれは立派ないじめよちなみにあまねえはイカフライに何をかけて食べるんそうね醤油かななんとしまったのよさここにも怪人イカ醤油がもう一匹おごなすマーカナイズアドーブルガラギブラダーリスティチルチル残念だけどイカ醤油は諦めてほしいのよ全然残念じゃないから心の底からホッとしてるからちなみに私はソース派です別に聞いてないからよし今日から貴様はイカソースだほら見なさい余計なこと言うから頭の悪い子に変なあだ名つけられたそして私はイカマヨちょっとあんたイカフライにマヨネーズつけて食べるのえだってほらおつまみとかのさっきイカにはマヨネーズつけて食べるんだし変じゃないよねうんうんそう言われるとうんどうなんだろう I've never actually had squid I wonder how it tastes 多数決でも取ってみるいや何の意味があっておちょいとそこ行くお嬢さん意見を聞かせておくれてないかいユミコ does not give a damn そうそうそこでしかと決め込んでるあなたよ<笑>そこで私に気安く話しかけないでくれないかしら友達だと思われたら迷惑だわって背中で語ってるあなた<笑><笑>せっかくスルーしようと思っていたのに一番厄介なのに見つかって声かけられたって感じで大きく肩を落としているあなたそこ<笑>なんで怒ってんの胸に手を当ててよく考えてごらんなさい。知るかそんなことよりユミちゃん。ユミちゃんはイカフライに何をかけて食べるのよ。さすがに堪忍袋の尾が切れそうだわ。あごめん。言ってること難しすぎた。あのね。イカフライってあるでしょこうイカを輪切りにして衣をつけてあげたやつ知っているわよそれぐらいだよなでだそれに何つけて食べるって残念ながらそんな庶民の食べ物なんて私は食べたことないわ、oh. ンクジーナえマジで本当よだから私に変なあだ名をつけようとしても無駄のよし今日から貴様はノーフライだ<笑>この子人の話をまるで聞いていない。I agree. And with that, I'm gonna leave the video off here and I'll see you on the next part, which will be on Thursday. I have a new schedule up. Check my about page on my YouTube channel to figure out what it is. And with that, I'll see you then. Take it easy. Thank、you